Doodles channel and today I am doing a vlog. This is my first time doing one. And the only reason why I'm doing one is because I'm going to the new Daiso that just opened. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get there so I'm going to go ahead and see uh, my timing myself. It's 12.03 in the afternoon today and I will see how long it will take us to get there. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. It is not the grand opening. Uh, I follow Daiso uh, Japan on Instagram and it's funny because I know I mentioned it in my last vlog I can't remember which one it was I guess it was the, the Daiso one I just did last and I had mentioned that um, to go and like them on Facebook because you'll get like the newest stuff the only thing was a, I know I saw it on Instagram and I couldn't remember the name that they go by because I looked up Daiso's and I couldn't remember until I found one of the feeds because they constantly maybe every few days they'll keep telling you yeah they're gonna be opening up a new one in this area please come blah 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 because also on Facebook I think they're giving out tickets and stuff just so you could be sure to make sure that you are able to get in for the grand opening so we shall see uh, I'm gonna see how the store is I want to get a preview so anyway uh, the reason why I wanted to go a little early because it's not it's, today is not the day it's supposed to be open they said something about on their um, advertisement as it being um, a soft opening meaning that only they're they're opening it at least the week prior you can go ahead and go I believe although today is Labor Day up to Monday so I'm not necessarily sure it's open there's no phone number or anywhere you can contact them to know whether or not they're open so I don't know if this is just a waste of time for me to even videotape so um, yeah we're just gonna go ahead and check it out but um, this is normally in a place where you have a lot of um, Asian markets there um, I call it Asian town of like my area so um, whenever you're looking for like sushis and ramen and um, Japanese stuff Korean food Korean barbecue and all sorts of those good stuff you would go to that area so uh, and there's also a new Dollar Tree it was the first Dollar Tree that was open and I started going there it was one of my favorites until the one five miles away from me open so I used to go there often and I just went there and I didn't really find anything there um, I'll be hauling that video in a few I think I only got maybe a few or five items so there was nothing too new. That's where I was finding some of the Halloween things. Um, so I've been calling around Dollar Trees um, to see whether or not they even have the Christmas decorations because I don't want to ask them if they have the Christmas washi tape when they don't even have the decorations in the first place. So um, I was just asking around because the one five miles away from me, the new Dollar Tree that just opened, they do have some of the Christmas items. Um, and I was trying to find their number also on their store locator and also on Google on my phone and stuff and then of course they don't have it and the only way you can contact them is when they put it on the receipt so I had to go through all my bags and look for the receipts um, and I found the number there and um, they said no we had, we had a Christmas stuff which is just a small little um, shelving unit it's on both sides um, and all they have really is like their their clear glass uh, ornaments uh, some fake little uh, foamy snow and maybe some like ribbons and stuff like that but for the most part they don't have it okay so we are on the freeway it takes me five minutes to get to the freeway from my house and then I have like one exit away and I'm at the Dollar Tree um, entrance and that's also near my um my, also near my post office box which I might go ahead and check today I doubt they're gonna be open because it is um Labor Day, so I might as well not stop over there. But let's just go ahead and see how things are since it is ho a holiday. It's not too bad. There's no traffic around. I did kind of start off late. They opened at 10, so and they close at 9. So whatever this soft opening that they're talking about, I just wonder what it is. I'm just really curious as to how it looks like. Um, the funny, the sad thing was I was just there like maybe the other day. I passed by and I meant to take a snap a photo of it because um, I saw all the Daiso signs all over, grand opening opening soon and all that good stuff but I didn't even um, have a chance to do it. I had my nieces with me. Um, I did go to the Marokai and I did go to that Daiso and a half store. Um, didn't buy anything there. Maybe some, um, I just bought some hockey which I still have left over here from that day. What was that? Where did we go? I believe it's a Friday, Saturday? Saturday. So I still have my hockey left over which I'll go ahead and snack on. From that store, um, they did change the Marukai store. It's no longer Marukai, where the uh, where all the snacks are. It's like Tokyo Pop and stuff like that. But it's very expensive things there. I mentioned that before. Um, they have a lot of car car products, a lot of nice um, air fresheners. I really love their air fresheners, um, the Asian air air fresheners. But they could range from like ten dollars to like even 20 sometimes so um, even the refills which are just like the cartridges are very expensive so 
let's go ahead and get there. I said it was 12.03 and I'll let you guys know how long it takes for me to get to that nice Okay, so we're now exiting. It is now 12.21. Um, it's not far from exit. Um, I know the location pretty well because it's in this area that old, the old building that it, the Diaso now is gonna be in used to be a, um, sorry, I'm just changing all these lanes. Uh, used to be sort of like a used store. I'm not necessarily sure. They had a whole bunch of tools and stuff like that. I have to ask my husband because um, the area we used to call um, the man mall, <laughs> per se, because all the um, stores or all the little things that are there are like bars. There's even a kind of down the street is like a strip joint and um, a lot of cigar places and like a sports bar and gun shop and things like that. So it's mostly like a, we call it the man mall because there's a whole bunch of things just for guys and I never really go there. So I'm really surprised that it's they're actually opening up the store in that location. Um, what I worry about is the parking. It doesn't seem like there's probably a lot of parking. Uh, that Daiso is going to be there. So um, I do tend to go to the Daisos during the weekdays anyway. Um, going on the weekends are probably awful. We do come here on the weekends sometimes um, for like dinners and things like that. But when you go here for dinners, it's just there's just so many people. That there's so many lines and it's just a pain in the butt. Um, the area also is the place where I did a review of the sushi joint that I went to. So it's pretty much also down the street. Everything is like reasonably close to each other. So um, it's not too bad um, of a place to come to. Um, so next time we get the YouTubers and the other um, Instagram people to come here, um, it'll be a really great place to be since we don't have to do a lot of driving. Um, there is another Dollar Tree here, a smaller one that was, you know, that's here as well. And on the other side of the part of the freeway, um, which I call on the west side, is the bigger Dollar Tree and also a pretty large 99 cent store. I did find a couple of things there the other day. That's why I was kind of like perturbed that when we... Um, I drove by here and I didn't realize that it was going to be open already pretty soon and I wish I um, went ahead and uh, stopped by at least, you know. So let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and turn here because I believe this is the way we can come in. Alright, so here we are. We're coming up to the night of the Daiso. I don't know if it's open. It says coming soon. I think is open yeah okay everybody i am here i saw some people walking out into their cars with some items i don't see any bags in their things but it looks like they got a couple things from there so i'm gonna go ahead and go inside if it's possible because i did see a little girl a little kid come out so i'm thinking hopefully they're not the person that like an own like an employee's kid that's there just kind of helping out and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get in there so um let me go ahead and turn the camera around so we can go in there. so uh, a lot of the dollar trees are saying they're not gonna be open until um, I mean, they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to have, they're not going to have their Christmas washi tapes until, I don't know, next year. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> so here I am walking out the car, going towards Daiso. Um, I apologize for filming the concrete. I just saw some customers walk out the door, so I didn't want to have them on film. I'm sorry I didn't film the entranceway. I was a little embarrassed, so I just stopped the filming there and just started here. And these are the first things I did see, these mobile uh, bling out stickers these are the lame stickers that i had hauled um a couple hauls ago and pretty and fall is the one who had showed it first and i thought they were so adorable i had no idea they're for your cell phones here are the solar flowers that they have they have in a red pot above the pink pots and this lime green one down below i'm sorry the camera is a little shaky we just saw some canes huh <laughs> so those are the hooks i wanted to show you these because they're so cute so pretty they're not like the normal looking hooks that you put on the back of your doors there's like so many different designs those flowers and the hearts and these are curtain rods those tension ones they do sell the curtains um, there as well and this is a wall full of washi tape and because it's the first day i guess it's pretty much open that whole wall was so full so we'll go back to that section again more stationaries papers and uh, boxes for your papers and binders all these shelves are totally full and normally they're not. I got distracted with the blue and the green um, houseware stuff. Uh, normally all the stuff are $1.50, but some of the bigger items were like $3 and more. So here's a little small little sticker section. A little disappointed with it. There was never very much to 
look at they're all just foam stickers so I am walking towards my favorite area usually that I go to when I go to Daiso is the storage bins and you know me I'm very crazy about them I'm the crazy bin lady um, but I did not find what I was looking for I was actually looking for the Paris themed bins um, there's the purple ones that I bought before and all these are so colorful like I said they're all a dollar fifty unless um, they note it, it's three dollars and usually the bigger ones are and here are the cute mugs I've bought these in the past and the shelf is full of them so it was just really nice to see that's my favorite cup right there and they had a couple new ones down below Look at all the colorful sets of uh, bowls. And the houseware section is really nice and lit up. Um, these are the wine stoppers. And I picked up this little kimono wooden doll. I don't know what it was doing in this section. Um, I went to go look for more of them, but I went ahead and stuck this one in my uh, basket. <laughs> so, and then down below are the corkscrews and some knives and stuff. Maybe for your cheese, the knives are for the cheese. And more of the houseware uh, dishes and plates. Pretty good quality. I was so excited to see these. It's a whole section of chalkboard items. I have never seen a setup like this at all at our other Daiso. It's directly behind the washi tape, so I will be showing you more of that. That's more stationary. These are the flower pots that they have. They're really cute designs. You know, little things you could put for your garden and uh, more of more flower pots they have so many different designs and some fake flowers and as i walk around the corner i saw a sign that i spotted on the window towards the parking lot and it is a for hire sign and i was kind of laughing to myself when i saw it um, here are more frames uh, picture frames that you can purchase there's so many different kinds so cute like some of the pictures are so cute like why would you want to remove and put a picture in them. <laughs> this is a beautiful setup of all, all the colorful nail polishes. So in love with this display, so pretty. So now we're in the kitchen area with all their kitchen wares, more of their ladles, and so much like wall-to-wall -wall full of just kitchenware. So these are really cute water bottles. There are these cylinders in there where you add water to them and you can stick them in the freezer and once those are frozen, you can put it right back in those bottles to keep your drinks really cold throughout the day. And I believe those are just bento boxes. I'm sorry I didn't get a very good view of that because you know I've hauled those in the past anyway. Um, those are just, I guess, more kitchen stuff. Oh, that's really, uh, really cool looking uh, hole punchers for your seaweed. There's an art to making your bento box really, really pretty. So I'll go ahead and show you some photos of that. Um, those are toothpicks. I really got a good view of that because I started thinking about all those people who like to um, make paper clip um, designs by putting stuff. So I was thinking you just rip off the uh, toothpick part and just kind of glue that part to your paper clips. These are more things for the house for parties. Those are really cute paper plates. <laughs> and I apologize for that view of the ceiling. I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> so what else is on this side? I guess these are just more stuff for the kitchen. Oh, those are sponges to wash your dishes and stuff. They have such cute designs. Not the normal, just regular rectangle ones. They have like bears and such. Um, these are more garden things, I believe. Um, I don't know exactly how you use any of that stuff. Clothes pins and such. So I didn't go through all the aisles. They just seem like they're all like the same stuff. Watering um, cans, those are really, really cute. Uh, watering pots. And I thought these were really pretty. All these spray bottles, it's just so pretty and colorful. I just get intrigued by looking at how they display everything. Uh, I don't need half those things in the first place. That's the you know pet area with all the dog collars and leashes and I believe this is the craft area. There's a lot of yarns and every single colors. So if you like to crochet or knit, you can get some of your items here. Some silicone uh, eye shapes that you could do and a silicone uh, colanders that you could flatten. More bowls. Really, really pretty. Look how colorful everything is. These are really cute. I've wanted to pick these up. Some of those are like melamine, um, like a plasticky material. They're not all like ceramic and stuff. So we are in the toy section and these are like dress up outfits, I guess good for Halloween, um, but they're kind of small though. They're meant for kids. And so here is that toy area. Um, I looked at that and I saw this is like uh, wax paper. I'll put that up and you can see what I mean. They're like Halloween 
wax paper. I'm not sure what there are. Maybe like tissue. And I was a little interested in this. I was looking at the fire truck, thinking about my son, but he's a little too young for that. And we are right back at the chalkboard area, the chalkboard items and stuff. And I wanted to go right behind it to look at the washi. These are the stickers, which is very scarce. A little disappointed that there was not much to look at. So, you know, I didn't pick up anything from there at all. And here is that washi tape section and the duct tapes that I got and hauled in the past. And um, I did a whole washi um, video earlier. At, and they had every single one of them that I had found in the boxes. And since this is like, you know, the opening, you know, had I known about this, I probably would have bought everything here, but I'm glad I already got them. I did pick up a few other items I want to stick in my giveaway because I thought the washies were so cute. So um, I picked up some stuff there. And these are a new set. Um, I will, I picked up a couple of these and it'll be in my next haul, but these are very thin uh, washi tapes. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. These are like the, right here, those are the fabric kind, but here is that washi tape I've never seen. So they're thin and they have like two tone colors in them. So um, don't worry, I'll give you more of a close up again later on and show you which ones I bought. I don't think I showed everything that I put in my basket. And down below that are the washi tapes. There's only three kinds and I've showed them. So pretty, pretty colors of the washi tapes too. There's that ribbon washi tape and a lot of the fabric washi tapes are down below. More stationary sticky notes. I really was looking for the sticky notes with the uh, page flags with the cats. I didn't show that part, but they're right above us. That's why you're kind of just seeing that because I was kind of distracted looking for them, but I didn't see them at all. Lots of sticky notes, I guess. <laughs> We're back at the binders and the boxes from your papers. Kind of like clipboard stuff. Oh, this is interesting to see a whole bunch of their chopsticks. I have bought some chopsticks in the past, but I've never seen this many. Here is some trainer ones. They're so cute. They're usually for kids, but if you're learning how to use chopsticks, they're still good to go ahead and try out. I went and purchased uh, a set of chopsticks here. I haven't seen the uh, two part blue and uh, red ones. I'll show you those in my haul, but there are so many different lengths of these chopsticks and different materials. They have metal ones. They got bamboo ones. I showed those ones before. Those are the, hollow, the owl ones. I thought those were cute. And I've kind of bypassed some of this. I went, let me go ahead and show you the picture I was taking of this certain thing. These are all just packaging tapes. No designs. Glue sticks, all their adhesives. Um, scissors and just the office supply stuff basically. Paper clips. They have so many different colors and thumbtacks to put on your corkboards. Oh, those are the ones I have up above. I haul those in the past as well. Binder clips and the cute little binder clips that are hiding in the back. It's kind of looking for the other ones I bought. They were in a tin. It was a cutaholic one. I didn't see those. They have so much stuff here. To look at you get kind of overwhelmed <laughs> and I've never seen these before they're um, to help you turn pages and stuff I believe now we're in uh, the luggage area I did pick up one of the belts below the little flower ones I'll show you that in my next haul padlocks and name holders it says I guess they're just for keychains you know to label your keys and stuff so um, I'm not sure what that is right there massaging stuff they do have a lot of massaging instruments to help you uh, relax here too kind of funny these are the cords that i had bought my i bought for my husband and he already like started using it so i was able to go show you guys at least how it looks like these are more cell phone um styluses for your mobile devices Oh, they have some cute ones. I did pick up another polka dot one, which I'll show you again in my next haul. We are at the makeup section. They are so pretty. I really would like to try them. I'm going to have to go look at people's reviews and find out which ones are good. I do see people on uh, Instagram also posting stuff. And uh, some of these brands I saw that were here at Daiso, those look like the mood changing um, lip balms or lipsticks. So those are so cute. I just needed to show you those. 
I've never tried this before. Let me know if any of you guys have tried it yourself. Here's a like lipstick aisle, I guess. Masks, you know, facial masks. Um, these are all your eyelashes. Like I said, they have so many eyelashes. I'm just intrigued by all the colors that they put up. <laughs> the displays make you want to go try them. Some pretty blushes, Santee blushes. I'm not sure if those are pigmented or not. I really think these little heart palettes look cute as well. They look like they're like lip products though because they're so glossy. I thought these were really, really cute. These are like frames with no glass in them. Um, kept looking at the red ones but I do wear glasses and their prescription <clears throat> but I thought these are cute I might go pick one of these up next time I'm there they're pretty oversized as well the yellow ones are really cute and so are the white ones I don't know I wouldn't know which one to choose all those pinwheels I had picked up up before I haven't put them up on my dad's just yet though all these hats there's different uh, um, pricing so they're not a dollar fifty not all of them at least and slippers and flip-flops a serious uh, wall full of those things. I walked up closer to this, but I apologize for the view because there was like uh, cleanup aisle stuff going on there. But these are mini fans, electrical mini fans with a battery in it. So yeah, here's all the cutesy little flip flops that they have. We're going towards the very front of the store again. Here are scarves. Those are all different kinds of scarves, ranging from $1.50 to $3, depending on what kind and the fabrics that are on it. So here we are getting closer and closer. These are the car items like sunshades. Here are the hats again on this view. Here are the cute little piggy banks I've hauled in the past too. There's a pig and the rabbit. I showed you before. The cats, every single color. More banks, tin banks. Little monsters on them. I thought those were really, really cute. Oh, those are $2. Although. That was, I didn't know that there was that until I just saw the video. <laughs> These are little cans that look like Oscar the Grouch can. And more on the right is those hourglass type things where the liquid comes down. Just kind of like fun things for kids. We are coming up towards the solo cats that I had purchased that are going to be in the giveaway. Um, so I picked up a couple of those and more of those look, lucky cats. The pricing is not $1.50. I think you can see the what the prices are there. They do have that available to purchase. So... Um, we are walking back towards, these are the pinwheels that I had purchased to put in my dad's graveyard. They're really, really pretty. Be nice for a party and such to use for decoration. I thought these were really funny. These are banana um, protectors that you, you know, so your bananas won't get bruised up. And they even had the banana cutters and silly things like that. <laughs> um, more of the kitchen wares. I know we walked this aisle before, but I wanted to get a closer up of these cute little pots that come in different colors. I have never seen that before, so that's really nice. Sorry, it's shaky again. Um, I wanted to walk down this aisle. These are the snacks. They have shelves and shelves of snacks. The other store didn't really have that much. They only probably have a small wall, but this one has a lot of snacks to go from and you can see that it's totally full these are all the candies the little Japanese candies um, lots of raisins and milkitas and every flavor banana chocolate strawberry everything that you can think of and more pockies of all sorts of flavors these are $1.50 walk behind the shelf and there's more snacks like I said there's just so much of it uh, shelves and shelves of them. That's the caramel corn. There's a shrimp chips right there. Um, a lot of Japanese snacks that you could try out, which is, you know, very good. And the other side, they also have like Hello Pandas that you could probably pick up at the Target dollar spot as well. So, yeah, and drinks, you know, cold drinks and not so cold drinks. So we are now concluding my Daiso vlog. I want to thank you guys for following me and watching. But um, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. So uh, a lot of the Dollar Trees are saying they're not going to be open until, um, I mean, they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to have, they're not going to have their Christmas washing tapes until, I don't know, next year. Um, <laughs>